There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? What's up, you too? What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? Happy day. I can't even say it's really Saturday, but if I say happy Saturday, what if you're watching this like on a Monday? So I will be either predicting the future or talking about the past. So I'm going to just say happy day. Happy day, fam. Happy day, divas. Happy day, Divas. Happy day, everyone. So you imagine having to sit somewhere for like um, 8, 12 hours, you know, maybe even more. Maybe you had to come back the next day because you really, really wanted this one particular thing to be done. And you got to sit there and wait. I don't know about y'all, but I don't really like to go anywhere and sit too long and wait. That's why I guess I don't go back and get my nails done because I just... Don't like to sit too long and wait. I'm just, it's not that I'm impatient, but I just be feeling like I could just be doing something else. I could just be doing something else. So that's how I be feeling. Imagine sitting and you go to the hair braider and you got to sit there for like 13 hours. Child, please. I would have been left. Half a head done, a quarter of the head done. I would have had to leave. Like you don't have to see me tomorrow. It, it would take you like a week to do my hair if the hairstyle took like 13 hours. It'd take like a week. There's no way I'm sitting for that long. I don't care whose braids it is. Today, y'all don't have to sit that long. You know, even though the video might be, I don't know, probably like 10, 15 minutes long. Who knows? Whatever. You know, just spend that time with me. Spend it with me, fam. Spend it with me. Okay, family. Spend it with me. But damn, we got us a full lace, glueless, full lace, box braid, knotless, waist length, arm braid with a elastic band in this puppy so that way you really definitely gonna look cute tonight girl listen i rocks with this company i really do they got like one of the best braided wigs in the world okay so when i say one uh because i did do wig videos a couple box braid videos like years back and I really did like their wigs as well. But these are also just as nice. Plus, they have a whole lot on their website to choose from. So, girl, if you like knotless, if you like boxless, if you like cornrows, if you are like, um, let's see here, faux locks and all that good jazzy, 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 jazz stuff, girl, you definitely want to check out Neat and Sleek, honey. This wig is so cute. It's long. Look at that box braids for days and i love the way the color just ombres and it's nicely neatly bleached y'all there's no speckles honey no 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 oh, these actually are really good wigs okay and if you know how to take care of something girl it should last you forever now i'm not saying sleep with this because i did try one time to sleep with the box braid i'm um, not this box braid wig on girl i did try and honey and probably like two hours after trying a girl had to take that thing off like girl i had to take i had to remove it yes it was glued down hairspray down whatever you want to call it honeys but let me let me just tell y'all i had to take that thing off not only was it heavy but girl it was heavy and hot okay two h's that i really don't want to be dealing with heavy and hot okay i'm trying to be cool and cute over here on this side okay this is a glueless full lace wig honey which means you can do loads of different things different styles now if you're concerned about the back portion where there is the inside stretch panel at because the color is a little bit different you can easily cover that up with some of your own makeup you know as long as i've been in a wig game these are there's only like two colors that these actually come in i really don't foresee anybody seeing this portion of the wig because it has the braids over it. so this one has some baby hairs that's the reason why i have this braid here on the top but honey we're gonna just jump right into this i'm gonna show y'all how y'all braid wig come from neat and sleek <laughs> I know the reason why we chose to say goodbye But I can help my feelings Right now, I can't deny You never left my mind And now my heart is bleeding 
So for this video, I'm going to be using these hair scrunchie ties just to hold the braids out of the way so that way I can cut the lace off. The long braid across the hairline is actually the sideburns and baby hairs. However, the sideburn hairs don't come all the way down or the hair length doesn't come all the way down to where I like to do my sideburns. So these are basically just baby hairs. So I went ahead and cut the baby hair and then just decided to unravel it off camera. And now I'm just going to be using the clips to keep those baby hairs out of the way. I will be tweezing them and thinning them out so I know it looks like a lot right now. But the first thing I need to do is to cut the lace away of the unit. So when you order this unit, you can either order no baby hairs or sparse. I think I did ask for sparse and this is the part where I'm just going to take my tweezers and just tweeze out some of them. I don't like them too thick, nor do I like them too long, but I honestly didn't want to cut them all off or thin them out too much because you know, over time they may fall out because it's thin in one area or you know, they're not growing back. So I just figured. I will keep them at a certain length and I would also kind of like camouflage them, hide them in between the braids. You know, the baby hairs that I wasn't using. I don't know guys, I'm just not the best when it comes to doing baby hairs, especially on a braid wig. Any other units, I can probably finagle it to the best of my abilities, but on a braid wig, I just find it a lot more harder, especially because there isn't any like open space, it's just braid. But for the most part, the wig is nice. They did great, great work on the bleaching of the knots. And this is the part where I'm going to have and use my hairspray, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. I love this hairspray. You know it, you know it. I love this hairspray. Super affordable, it holds really good. I honestly can compare it to like what you guys love so much is the Got To Be Freeze Wasp. I love the Aussie just the same, but the price is like half the price. The hold is about the same. And I've been using Aussie for years, so I definitely would recommend it for styling and wig application installs also. Now because this is a braid wig, you're going to have to use a blow dryer to dry this product only because the braids are a lot heavier versus just a regular lace front. Now the unit is definitely not heavy, but because it is a braid wig, the drying time is a little bit longer. And I absolutely love this blow dryer. I like the fact that when you control the heat, it does change in color. Now I went ahead and sculpted these off camera. Well girl, I didn't really sculpt them off camera. I mean, I edited that part out because it was just taking me way too long. Girl, I'm not like a huge fan of the baby hairs that I did on the wig, so I tried my best. This is where I'm just gonna try different styles. This is like a high up ponytail. Like I stated, it's a full lace wig, so you can do so many different styles because there isn't any braiding traps. So I tried it like this in a high ponytail, like an I Dream of Genie, okay, if you like it like that. Or if you'd rather put it in a bun, this is what I do, simply twist the hair, 
and wrap it around like so, making it into a bun. Do what's ever creative and easier for you guys. Now also I tried out something else which would be two braids on the side just to keep the hair out of my face because it's hot out here. And of course one side always seems to come out better so I'll be doing the other side over. But I do like the way it braided at the ends and it was easy to braid. So I just figured I would do it like this. This is kind of cute, I thought. And then just pull the hair over the braid in the back. So that way I can camouflage it. And if you see, yes, you can see the scalpage in the back. But not really a big difference. This is the outcome of that hairstyle. And then after the end, I just decided to wear it down. Look, you can do so many different styles with a box braid full lace wig. So girl, check them out. I'll link everything below for you guys. This wig. So it took me a minute. And unfortunately, I did do the baby hairs off camera because I just really didn't want all these baby hairs on it. But I do know that because it's lace, you want to try to make it look as natural as possible. You don't really want anybody to know you got on a braid wig or a wig in general. I mean, some people don't care. I, for one, am very particular about my lace. But, and I really didn't want to remove the baby hairs because what if I would have needed them later on? So what I do with the baby hairs is I'll cut them really short, but I'll also brush them up into the braid so or and wrap it around the braid so that way it's not visible, the extra hairs, and I don't have to remove them because I don't know if I'm going to need them later on. So the wig for one is not heavy. So if you're wondering, is it heavy? It's definitely not heavy. Um, are the braids itchy? They're not itchy either. The one cool thing though about a glueless full lace wig, any glueless full lace wig, full lace, full. When it's all lace, girl, you can park that bad boy wherever you want. So you could do like a million and 25,600 billion styles if you wanted to. I like the fact that you don't have to sit still forever and ever and ever. With a braid wig, you can add anything. Like I showed you guys, it is waist length. So this is where it's, you know, hitting for. This is exactly where it's hitting for. And look how pretty and nice those platinum braids are. And it just gradually goes into an ombre effect, which they did a really nice job with I think they did like an excellent job with the whole wig the construction of it it fits so nice and snug because it has an elastic band and the combs are in the right position so they're not ripping out your damn sides oh girl yes okay and look if you don't want it all out in your face because girl you know you got work to do around the house like chores errands to run yard work girl so I had to stop the video really quick because my doorbell rang and it was actually a birthday gift from my daughter, Nay. By the time y'all watch this video, it'll be over. If you don't want to sit for like 12 hours, a million hours, then go ahead and check out Neat and Sleek. They will have you covered. Your head will be braided up within like 30 minutes, depending on your lace wig skill. You know, you got to prep it, pluck it, style it, you know, profile it. Girl, yes. So check out Neat and Sleek. I love you all. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe thumbs the video up and i'll see y'all in the next one go, 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 go.